Hello everyone, what's up? JWisp here and welcome back to another video. Today I will be sharing with you guys three things that you should do to prepare your survival world for 1.15. Okay, so the first thing you should do or really should not do is do not travel too far from your house or do any big exploration travels right now. And the reason that is because with 1.15, one of the main things added in 1.15 is bees. And you're going to want bees. And bees only spawn in plains biomes like this or sunflower forests or flower forests, which are pretty much plains biomes like this, except there's a lot of trees and there are a lot of flowers like you see here. And since you're going to want bees, you're going to want them in fresh biomes that have not been loaded yet. Pretty much the way bees work is, say you have a flower or plains biome like this, and you've already explored all of it, already loaded all of the chunks. Once you update to 1.15, there's not going to be any bees and there's not going to be any bee nests. At least from my experiments, you know, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that, you know, that's how Minecraft has always worked. Um, so what you're going to want to do is not explore too much, but then once 1.15 is released, go on a big exploration and explore in a direction that you have not explored before. This is because you need to go to new chunks, you need to load new chunks. Um, specifically in those biomes I mentioned to be able to find bees and then once you have you know you see a bee nest once you see some bees you can snatch them and take them back to your base so the next thing you're gonna want to do after you actually have your bees is build a place for your bees to stay you know build them a sanctuary build a bee farm honey blocks and honey will have lots of great uses and so you're gonna want a lot of it and so I would recommend building a place to keep all of your bees to keep them happy and to keep them producing honey and remember to get honey safely whether you're using shears for honeycomb or bottles um, for just pure honey always use a campfire under the hive to keep it safe the smoke from the campfire will prevent the bees from attacking you. Alright, so my last tip for you is to check out all of the redstone updates if you're someone that has a lot of redstone farms or contraptions. Um, because pretty much every update in Minecraft, it's always been this way, but something changes with redstone, and there have been a few changes with redstone in this update. I'm not going to go over every single change because that's a lot, but I'll leave some of the update notes in the description if you want to check them out yourself. This is because when you update your world to 1.15, some of your AFK slash redstone farms might stop working. Um, like, for example, with 1.15, people had amazing iron farm designs, but then they just stopped working in 1.14 because all of the redstone changes. Um, and now, actually, previous iron farms for the beginning of 1.14 don't work in the end of 1.14. And so I've also put an updated iron farm tutorial on that. So make sure you check out all your farms. Really, though, there's not too many things you have to do to prepare your world for 1.15. It's not a super big update um, but I would just take those three things I gave you um, and make sure you do them in your world um, or with the first one not do don't explore too much um, or at least you know plan a big exploration for once 1.15 comes out because you'll probably need to travel far away to try to find some bees anyways though I hope these three tips were helpful to you I just want to make this video really fast and share this information with you anyways if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe this is Jay Wisp and I will see you all in the next one